Okay, this is going to be the instructional video for the song One Good Reason. Uh, the song starts out with clean guitar, and it's just the, the first guitar. Uh, second guitar doesn't come in until about eight measures later, or you could be doing uh, you know, auxiliary noise, squeals, and scratches, and stuff like that. Anyway, first riff goes like this. here a bar chord on the fifth fret and then this shape here on the seventh fret on the third string and the eighth fret on the fourth string uh, pay attention to this shape because it gets used throughout the entire song anyway uh, the picking pattern it goes double notes on every string, five, fifth fret all the way down to the fourth string, and then seven, eight, five. Five, you'll already have your bar chord finger there. The transition goes uh, eighth fret on the sixth string, and then your bar is still on the fifth fret for the other two. to 7 and 4 with an open 4th string I'm going up this close so you can also see uh, my picking hand because uh, it's important that you note the pattern in which I'm picking the strings for this one it goes 6, 6, 5, 6, 4, 5 Repeat that four times. <sighs> Guitar two actually comes in here. After four of those, it does this riff. This is uh, the pick up to the riff. It goes one, open one, and then slide to the fifth fret. And then it has this pattern. With an open note on every first and I guess fifth drum. But on the accents, you're going to do this same chord shape that we just opened with. So on the main one, you do the, just the fifth fret bar chord. And for the accents, you do this one. And then in between, you go 5, 8, 8, 8, 8, 7, and then 4. to four, the accent goes like this, it does this little loop. On the third string, the sixth and seventh fret. And then you start over.
to the riff for the first verse, which goes like this. Uh, same shape again. But this time it's a single note picking and uh, with string skipping and a little bit of alternate picking. Basically, this is the melody. With the chugged, I guess, notes in between, which is going to be on the fifth fret. And uh, the way that goes is, again, fifth fret. So fifth fret, sixth string, fifth fret, fifth string, fifth fret, fourth string, then eighth fret, fourth string, back into the fifth fret, and then the last little lick goes seven, eight, five, eight. Scoop it down one to four seven. <sighs> so the same thing twice. The next fret, the next riff, goes like this. Pretty simple. It's just a tremolo pick pattern that goes like this. Five four one four. And then it picks up the tempo a little bit and goes into this riff. Also pretty simple, it's a power chord on the 4th and 5th strings, on the 5th and 7th, 6th and 4th, 8th and 10th, 7th and 9th frets. First one, you do this one, you slide down from 5-7 to 4-6, and then you do the tremolo picking on 4. Then you slide it up, 8 and 10, slide down to 7 and 9, tremolo picking on 7. Then tremolo pick on the 8th fret on the 6th string, and the 4th fret on the 5th string the end of the first part of the riff. It's basically the same thing twice and it has two different endings. The first ending is 8-4. Uh, and you do the same thing. Second ending goes 8-5 on the sixth string. So all together, Now, because that riff, uh, the the whole cool part about that riff is just how fast it goes, and uh, the important thing is for it not to be sloppy. It has to be like surgically precise. So you want to really dig into your palm mute, make every note and your tremolo picking count. Try to do it as cleanly as possible, because that's what's cool about it. It's really fast and clean sounding. Here's I think the actual speed on the recording was like this. Next riff, this pattern on 
the sixth string, two, five, four, one, two, and then it's all tremolo pitch with uh, an accent on every time you hit the second fret. And it is the same pattern with power chord. Uh, when you get back to the second fret, it does that little pattern. Same chord shape. Two, two, four, three. pattern, just a little bit more heavy chugging. Do that. Uh, after that, it does a key change and it slides down to the first fret. until it gets joined, then finally by guitar two. And the two of them do that kind of 80s metal, hair metal, guitar harmony. Oh, the, I'm sorry. This is kind of important. Uh, the rhythm guitar does this. And then on the fourth one, that pattern. Dun, da, 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 da. Because uh, that's what the drummer does. And then that's when the two guitars do their little thing. Anyway, for the rest of it, you do the same pattern. With this lick, three on the third string, two on the third string, and then three on the fourth string. wait for the apocalypse part. That goes on, shifts to another key change where you do basically the same thing on the fifth fret. That's why guitar one does this little thing. solo, and this is the backing riff for the solo. Good 
stretch there between three and eight. And if you can't hit the eighth there, you can also do it on the fifth, on the third fret on the third string. Anyway, putting them both together, this is behind the solo. Guitar one does the little clean guitar thing again. Then it ends on the fifth fret again. And that's it.